We want them all. So we want them all with birthdays. We have a very special birthday today. His name is Archaeos. The Archaeopteryx wasn't a very strong flyer. <laughs> Another bird during that time period was called to confuse them all. It had a hook, a beak, and a feathered tail. It was also a strong flyer. <laughs> this time, there are only seven specimens of Archaeopteryx. The only fossils of Archaeopteryx are the ones we found in the Mammals appeared about 200 million years ago. They evolved from reptiles. They were actually mammals during the prehistoric times. For an example, the cynodon. The cynodon was, was one of the first mammals scientists have discovered. It was half reptile and half mammal. It then evolved into some small furry mammals. And this is my pet cynodon here. Does he have any fur? Yep. Some mammals are warm-blooded animals. They all give milk to their babies, they have hair, and they give live birth. Herbivores, carnivores, whales, and bats are all mammals. Mammals will probably rule the land for many of centuries. They are very successful animals. The biggest mammal today is the blue whale. The blue whale can go up to 100 feet long. That's about the size of more than 10 elephants put together. The blue whale weighs about 115 tons, which is 230,000 pounds. My favorite mammal is the ape. The ape is very important. Some say we evolved from it. If that is so, without apes, we wouldn't be alive right now. Woolly mammoths from the earth about 3,000 years ago. They looked very similar to elephants, but they were much bigger, had longer tusks, and had hairy coats. They survived in the cold because of the cold climate. Their ears are smaller than today's elephants. Woolly mammoths' tusks can go up to 16 feet long. It's a wonderful piece of paper. Wow. That's their tusks? Whoa. Bristly bears can go up to six feet tall. Bears are very quiet. Right here. There. This one's arachnids. I don't know what is it. Begin. Welcome. This is the part of the timeline where the dinosaurs become extinct. Here you will learn a few different theories of what scientists believe. Take a look at our poster. As you can see, there are many different theories. For example, the asteroid theory started by looking at a giant crater in Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. This picture just shows the nerve theory how the scientists believe that dinosaurs became extinct. This volcano represents the theory of the volcano exploding and making all the dinosaurs become extinct. Take a look at our ribcage. This represents the bones of the dinosaurs. Thank you for coming and I hope you like it. Where are the Rocky Mountains? Here's some fun facts about the Rocky Mountains. Most geologists thought the hole in the mountain ranges showed that the earth was shaking, and they linked the mountain ranges to wrinkles on a shriveling apple. The most mountain ranges were formed about three million years ago. The sides of the mountains contained lots of, lots of fossils that were once in the sea. The mountain peaks were formed by wind, rain, and glaciers. The mountains can go up for about 5,000 miles wide. There are four forms of mountain ranges. They're called the block fault mountain, volcanic mountain, the whole mountain, and the upper fault mountain is the biggest mountain range in the United States. Well, thank you. That was very great. nice, guys. That, that was, was good. Um, <laughs> there was many theories of how it was formed, <laughs> mostly involving the Colorado River. The most popular is that the Colorado River run, ran through the Grand Canyon and slowly formed a plateau called the Kayabat Plateau. Then, slowly, it cut a small hole in the plateau to create what we have now, the Grand Canyon. There, there are about six main layers of rocks on the canyon edge. The Upper Permian, Lower Permian, Mississippian, Devonian, Cambrian, and Precambrian. There are also many rocks um, that were under the ground. The Kaya, Kayabat limestone, Coconino sandstone, Hermit shale, Sukaya sandstone, and shale. 
red wall limestone, luav limestone, bright angel, shale, tapit sandstone, vishnu schist, and page. And this is a rock. As it is. <laughs> Just over. No rock. There were a, many reptiles and species. And these are two of the big. Sometimes the bats were lucky. Um, very hungry crow. Enjoy the enjoy the rest of our time. Thank you. Very nice. It takes place five million years ago when the world was starting to evolve. These early men were a big part of the human tunnel. Many believe that the ape evolved into ape men, and then evolved into early men, which looks more like an animal than a human. These early men ate raw meat and berries. So much going on. They were not just not food over the fight. It took about five million years for the ape to evolve into ape men. One of the first and most famous ape men was Lucy. She was the one who was the first to walk right and straight. After that, it took about five million years to evolve into a human, which looked more like ape man, but smarter and had more common sense. These early men ate raw meat and berries. They also ate figs, hazelnuts, hazelnut, quail eggs, dates, sage, basil, and almonds. God, it's just like Lord of the Flies, huh? Christopher Columbus was born in 1451 to Noah Avery, the son of a war merchant and weaver. Then he became a sailor. When a ship, 25 years later, in a battle off the coast of Portugal, when a ship gets sunk, he is forced to swim ashore. Okay. 
Excellent presentation. Thank you.